Oh. oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, hold up. Alright, hey everyone, this is not your typical music video. Tomorrow, I am heading to Vietnam and I want to bring you guys along if that's okay with you. I'm just packing now, last minute packing because, well, I don't know why, but last minute packing. I managed to pack my luggage and now I am going to pack some other things. I bought this online and turns out I did not check the measurements. This bottle, these three bottles over here, it's like 110 ml, which means I'm not able to bring them to the plane because it exceeds the limits, right? I, I, I can't put it, put it into my carry-on. So I got another one online and hopefully it arrives tomorrow. This company called Osbot, they sent me this camera tool, this gimbal. So basically it tracks you around when you're filming. Not a sponsored post for this YouTube video, but I thought I would just unbox it and if I'm able to bring it, I will, but my luggage has no space at all. So I don't know, we will see. So recently I've been pretty interested in camera stuff. I recently bought an Insta Go 3, which is the one I'm filming, like over here. And yeah, ever since then I've been like really interested in like camera stuff. So when Osbot reached out to say, hey, you know, you wanna send me, a camera tracking gimbal. I'm like, why not? Send it to me. So here we go. So cute. It looks kind of like a. It looks kind of like, like an alien, from, what's that movie called? Um, ah, it looks like the the plankton from Chicken Little. Yeah, looks like that. Anyways, thank you Osbot for sending me this. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Just, just, so I'll be heading to Vietnam, Hanoi, and I'll be taking this amazing motorcycle trail called the Hajang Loop. It's a really popular tour in Northern Vietnam. And I've been planning for this trip for like six months now. Um, I'm so, so excited. A little bit nervous because I'll be going there like all by myself this time around. But I think more excited than nervous. Um, yeah and I would want to bring you guys along with me. So tomorrow's the day, let's go. Bye. Buying same car together, and so to yeah, we just like, get grab together because we're going to the same place. So cool. This is the fun part about solo traveling, right? You just talk and meet with people. Like, yeah. There was just a person at the SIM card store, and we were both like creeped out by her because she was like, "Get the SIM card." Get yeah. The SIM card. yeah. <laughs> this is our first meal in Vietnam. What did you get? Um, the chicken fur. Chicken fur. I got the beef fur. And this is vegetarian spring, spring roll. So we're in this coffee place called the Cafe Jam. It's apparently really famous. I 
So the rule here in Vietnam is when you are crossing a traffic, you don't think, you just walk. You just walk. Really? We did it! We're alive! We didn't die! So I parted ways with Sarah. Right now I'm heading to Jasmine Hostel, which is where I'm gonna take my sleeper bus to Hajang. You can hear the honking here, it's insane. Every five seconds you will hear someone honking at you. But it's not rude or anything, it's just it's, it's, it's just a warning. Because all the cars and motorists are just they're just breathing between you. So I'm now gonna find a bunny shop. I have not tried any bunny at all yet. I have four in the afternoon and right now I'm gonna have bunny. Oh, I found a bunny shop. We're gonna try it. Can I take a video? Is it okay? Video? Is it okay? okay. So let me explain the situation while you watch me devour my banh mi. First of all, the banh mi was buzzing. They really gave a generous amount of meat. But I just wish that I wouldn't have to eat in that environment. Now that was actually a sleeper bus from Hanoi to Hajang where I would then start my motorcycle trail. Now as you can see, even though I had my own personal bed, in the middle of the night, there will be some strangers coming up on board and they will just sleep right next to you until their next stop. Now if you're taking a sleeper bus from Vietnam to anywhere, I would highly recommend you to spend just a few more dollars and get yourself a VIP seat bus. I can tell you that night, I was so surprised and shocked because people just kept coming up to the bus and they were just cramping up the bus and the bus was so full that I didn't even like have any space to move around so that was really bad Good morning everyone, it's day 2 and we're heading up to the mountains today which is the main reason why I'm here today in Vietnam Got the helmet on, we're gonna ride on a motorcycle trail and up the mountains So I'll try to vlog as much as I can Signing our life away Right? Yeah, probably you should read it <laughs> It's one of the most difficult roads you will have in Vietnam when you can finish Hajar Loop. You can go everywhere with the motorbike like professional way. So we're gonna start the tour soon. We're split into different groups. I'm so excited. I'm just waiting for my guide. And then we'll be on our way home. So we're gonna start the tour now, but my guide is nowhere to be found. That is insane, it's really hot right now. <gasps> it's really hot. Yeah. Hopefully it'll be cooler when we start riding the motorcycle. Oh my god, Fu, say hi! hi. <laughs> rest stop. The view is insane. This is called a boobs mountain because, well, it looks like a boobs. So, our stuff's still there. So we're now heading up to what they call the Heaven's Gate 
have to pay like 10,000 dong to get up here. Two kilometers up the mountain. I think everything is really good. Like the the, the, the scenery is amazing, but it's just really hot. Okay, so currently we are inside a cave. It's really cooling in here. This is one of the biggest cave in Hajiang. Oh, look at that. That's how you gotta get through the caves.
With the delicious food, drinks and countless happy water prepared by the locals, day two comes to an end. That was truly a special night with people from all around the world coming together. On that day, it doesn't matter how old you are, what country you are from, or what language you speak. Because one thing bonded all of us together. And yes, that's music.